from owning a farmhouse inspired by his hit TV show, to raising over six million pounds for charity, Sam Hewen has finally revealed just how crazy rich he really is. The man owns a farmhouse worth over a million pounds, and it looks like something straight out of Outlander. No joke, it really does. It's located about 20 minutes outside the Scottish city of Glasgow. It's part of a heritage property that's almost 250 years old. And get this, the house was built in 1775, which is the same year the sixth season of Outlander takes place. It used to be a coaching inn with stables, but Hewen brought his own flair to the house with extensive renovations. It has now been converted into a four-bedroom home with about 900 square feet of living space, complete with modern accents and details. The farmhouse also has a huge kitchen with a massive island. The actor clearly enjoys cooking. At least one of the bathrooms has the whole spa thing going on, complete with a giant tub. The compound is located on the outskirts of Bishop Briggs in East Dunbartonshire and is well protected with electric gates, high walls, and the latest in home security. Add to that a double outdoor patio and garage too. Unsurprisingly, the star likes to keep his home very, very private. The only way you'll get a peek is through his Instagram posts, which tells us that he also has a home gym, but sometimes likes to work out in his driveway too. Now, Hewen has been quite aggressively building his real estate portfolio, but it's limited to his hometown, Glasgow. His latest purchase is a flat worth well over 300,000 pounds. Before that, he bought another one for over 250,000 pounds. Then there's also the mystery property he owns in the same city, worth almost half a million pounds. And get this, all of these were bought after 2016, including the farmhouse, which is when he hit the big time with Outlander. The show first aired in 2014, and in less than two years, Sam became a global superstar, being considered for iconic roles like James Bond. Despite this phenomenal success, he remains humble and true to his Scottish roots, choosing to stay in his home country, when most stars would immediately head to Los Angeles. He's also a hardworking man with a razor-sharp focus. Did you know that Hewen has always wanted to be an actor? The man has gone through some tough times to get to where he is today. He graduated from the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama in 2003. While he got high praise for portraying some pretty good roles on stage, the actor couldn't catch a break, even with his talent and good looks. I mean, he did do that Hallmark Christmas movie, A Princess for Christmas, in 2011, but that wasn't really the kind of job he wanted. He even moved to Los Angeles to get more inspiring work, but things didn't work out there either and he found himself back in the UK with no money to his name. Hewen was 34 years old at the time and had to eventually sign up for unemployment benefits to help pay his rent. But he quickly realized that the whole process was a bit frustrating because the job center didn't consider acting a legitimate profession. So he decided to give up on that and look for a full-time job as a barman instead. It wasn't like he hadn't done different kinds of jobs before though. In fact, he had delivered sandwiches by bicycle, sold perfume in Harrods, and even drawn up contracts for mental health doctors in the NHS. Plus, he had worked in various bars and restaurants around London. This kind of humble background really shows how the superstar is incredibly down to earth and isn't a big flashy spender. He still has some guilty pleasures though. The Scot definitely loves his wheels. In fact, one of the first things he bought with his Outlander paycheck was a car. His Twitter and Instagram are full of car pictures, from a Ghostbuster-style Ecto-1 to a Pontiac Aztec. Apparently, Hewen drove a Fiat 500 at the beginning of his career, and then upgraded to a Mazda Miata. These days, it seems like he's really into electric cars. Audi even gave him a brand new 2016 A3 Sportback e-tron to explore the Big Sur area in California, which is known for its challenging roads and stunning views of the Wild Coast. He's no stranger to the brand, though. They've actually loaned him an Audi Q5 Quattro to drive around Scotland in the past. But his love for Tesla's electric cars must have caught Audi's attention, because they wanted to show him that their EVs are just as awesome. It seems like Hewen's a bit of a car influencer. More recently, the actor bought himself a custom bike called the Sassanic Scrambler, and he unveiled it at the Scottish Bike Show, which leads me straight to two of his other big passions. The first one is his very own brand of whiskey. The actor owns Sassanach Spirits with his friend Alex Naruzi, and the company produces classic Scottish whiskey and tequila too. 
The whiskey is inspired by the Scottish Highlands. It was first launched in early 2020, and by the next year, the company was ready for something that was far away from its Scottish roots. Towards the end of 2021, Sassanac Spirits partnered with El Teculeño to launch the company's first tequila, the Sassanac Select. The actor is proud of his Scottish roots, and that's what made him invest in whiskey. He also wants to bring a part of Scotland to the rest of the world. Hewan loves nothing more than climbing up mountains and enjoying a dram of whiskey at the top. His love for Scotland's landscapes and culture inspired him to create his own spirits. The actor set out on tastings and distillery tours to perfect his own whiskey blend, which he wanted to be smooth and balanced like Asian whiskeys. He even took an active role in designing the logo, testing corks, and experimenting with temperature to perfect his creation. The result was an award-winning Scotch whiskey. Another thing that takes up most of Hewan's downtime is travel. Surprisingly, his favorite kind seems to be road trips, and not time travel, as we might expect. In fact, he's written two whole books about his travels through Scotland, and that too with his Outlander co-star Graham McTavish. The first one's called Clanlands, whiskey, warfare, and a Scottish adventure like no other, where the characters explore the breathtaking landscapes and rich history of Scotland. They start in the heart of the country at Glencoe and travel all the way to Inverness and the Culloden battlefields, encountering adventure and loads of Highland characters along the way. With Scotland's raw beauty, history, and warfare as their backdrop, the book actually made it to the New York Times bestseller list. Their second book is called Clanlin's Almanac. Now, the first one was a leisurely road trip through Scotland, but the Almanac is a high-speed, pedal-to-the-metal kind of journey through the many paths of Scotland, where the two men went on a wild camper van adventure over 12 glorious, whiskey-fueled months. Honestly, that sounds like so much fun. The book itself is full of stories of the mountains and even personal embarrassing stories. There's also a TV show about their travels called Men in Kilts. Hewan really is the perfect ambassador for Scotland. No wonder he has honorary doctorates from three Scottish universities. The 43-year-old actor is practically a cultural icon up there. And if you look closely enough, he's evolving into a fashion icon too. Sam's personal style is a combination of practicality and functionality, with an emphasis on classic, high-quality fabrics. He particularly likes Scottish tweed and herringbone, with many of his kilts featuring herringbone patterns. The actor also has a fondness for tartan. He even did a capsule collection with the iconic UK outerwear brand Barber. The jackets in his capsule feature Scottish tartan or tweed detailing on the cuffs, and there's an emphasis on layering for both comfort and style. Oh, and he loves his timepieces too. Apparently, he owns a George Jensen Koppel Grand Date Annual Calendar Watch. That's worth close to $15,000. A beautiful timepiece, but a humble price for a man who's worth $5 million. Honestly, that's what makes him such a cool guy. The man has legions of fans, and yet he chooses to remain humble and relatable. Now, he doesn't just spend all this money on himself. The actor makes it a point to give back to the community, too. Just last year, he raised 600,000 pounds for various causes. He's the founder of an organization called My Peak Challenge, a health and wellness program. It encourages participants to set personal goals and achieve them through a 12-month training and nutrition plan, as well as an online community of support and encouragement. Proceeds from the program go to support various charities, including Bloodwise, an organization dedicated to fighting blood cancers, and Ka Hannes Scotland, a charity focused on raising awareness and educating people about testicular cancer. Since 2015, Sam has raised more than £6 million for charity. So there you have it. From supporting a whole range of charitable causes to his lush farmhouse residence, that was how crazy rich Sam Hewen really is.